Well, hello, hello, hello out there. How's everybody doing? Is everybody very conservative in New York? Christopher Wright, here to present you with another of my infamous walk and talk videos. Before I begin, I just want to thank everybody for all the concern uh, about my recent fall. You know, I'm doing good, healing great, and everything's looking good. But with that said, just want to mention as well, I'll be in D Washington, D.C. from the month, from the weekend of March 17th to the 19th for the walk away one year celebration. I was uh, invited by Brendan Strzok himself, and I will be there as one of the special VIP guests that you can meet and greet with. So, with that said, what's today's Walk & Talk going to be about? It's going to be about, oh man, Venezuela, Venezuela. What is going on in Venezuela? Oh man, it's crazy. So, where do I begin? Uh, let's begin with the president there, Nicolas Maduro, or something like that his name is. I'm bad with names, I, you know, I'm sure I pronounced it wrong, but... <clears throat> As you guys know, he was the president of Venezuela who got elected, re-elected uh, last year. And it was under weird circumstances. A lot of people said he cheated his way through. He got about 67% of the popular vote. And a lot of his competition was either chased out of the country or put in jail. So he obviously isn't somebody that you can, you know, trust at all. And, you know, his guys, you know, he's a scumbag. And you know, a lot of world leaders, including our president, pretty much backed away from him and didn't want to show support um, after he won the election because he knows it was all, you know, BS pretty much. So anyways, this guy got elected, 67% of the vote, and he moved the election date even up seven months, um, you know, on his own, he moved it up. And this did a lot of things that were very suspect to get into office. And now that he's in office, pushing socialism, he, uh, I remember, I mean, this guy, when he was still running, he, when Venezuela was really going, started going through a lot of the problems through the socialism. I mean, people were, you know, eating each other's dogs and all this crazy stuff. He pretty much came out and went to um, a Salt Bay's restaurant. You know, he's a famous chef around the world. Uh, I've been there before in New York, but he, Salt Bay himself, came to his restaurant and was, you know, giving him top class meals and everything like that. And his citizens were out in the streets starving, man, killing each other, killing uh, robbing, stealing for food, eating each other's pets, just crazy stuff, man. And this is what socialism always brings. And this guy was just peddling it like a drug dealer, man. It was horrible. And also, I mean, if you look at the history of Venezuela, uh, especially when it comes to the Democratic Party in this country, they always were big fans of Venezuela and what they were doing. When Hugo Chavez, when Hugo Chavez was president there, they were praising, oh, look at socialism and look how great it is and look how it works and da 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 da. And now look at the country. And now that you see what's happening in the country, you see what the left is doing, they're backing away immediately. You see the lamestream media, the MSNBCs, the CNNs, they're not um, talking about what's going on in Venezuela too much. Um, I remember uh, recently, a couple of days ago, they were showing a lot of citizens when they were revolting against their, their government. Uh, there was a military truck there, and he, they pretty much the person driving the truck, ran over a few of the citizens, man. And as soon as they ran him over, man, MSNBC cut away and said, oh no, we don't have to see that, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, we bet we don't have to see that, because you guys don't want to see, let the public see what happens when you bring socialism to a country. It ends up with the citizens and ones getting punished every single time, every single time. So, and you look at the people in, in this country who are still pelling it or trying to pell it, even to this day, the Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez or Ocasio-Cortez and, you know, the Bernie Sanders of the world, they're trying to push it like it's, you know, this new great form of government. Like, oh, man, this is the new fun thing. And you got these young kids out here marching the streets, promoting it. And then look what it's doing to countries that are actually, you know, impl implementing it. That's what you got to look at, man. Not what the mainstream media says, not what the, these crazy politicians say. Just look. Go turn your TV on or go to YouTube and look what's going on in Venezuela right now. That's what you really got to see, okay? Now, with that said, um, you know, if you look at uh, even a, less, than a, less than a decade ago, uh, Venezuela uh, attacked, you know, went after citizens' guns rights. They, they restricted gun ownership in Venezuela. And not a coincidence, right after they restricted it, less than 10 years later, now the government's taken over their citizens because they know they have no more power, firepower especially. 
So they have no shame in coming after their citizens. And that's what's going on right now. And that's why gun ownership is so important. Protecting the Second Amendment is so important because God forbid, if the government ever acts you know, out of line and just wants to be power hungry, we can always protect ourselves as citizens. And unfortunately, citizens of Venezuela can't do that anymore. That's why they gotta fight with sticks and stones, literally, to defend themselves. And that's what you're seeing in the country right now. And that's why it's so crazy to watch what's going on over there. And I mean, if, and if you look at socialism history, just in the world history terms, I mean, you had Soviet Union, you had East Germany, North Korea, now Venezuela, and look how those countries ended up, you know, always ends up in terror, always ends up in death, always ends up in just corruption, and it never works, man. You know, I, like I said, when I was younger, I saw the Berlin Wall fall when I was a kid. And that was the first time in my life I witnessed freedom. And it was another country, but still a less, just a, a, an image in my head that I'll never forget. And so ever since that day, I've been saying, you know, people should never be constrained, never be forced into a certain area, location, or a certain way of living because of a corrupt belief system like socialism. So that's the message really pretty much for today's walk and talk is for pray for Venezuela and citizens in Venezuela because you see the military is siding with the government and the corruption of that clown, you know, his name Nicholas, Nicholas Maduro, whatever he is. They're siding with him, the military is, and the people got to fend for themselves. So just wake up to the truth about what's going on with socialism, how it never works. You know, tell it to your friends and family, especially the ones on the left who are just as liberals out there brainwashed. Get the message out to them because they need to hear it the most, man. Because it's looking bad over there in Venezuela, man. And we don't want that to happen here in our beautiful country. So, hope everybody enjoys today's walk and talk. There will be plenty more coming. I'll be doing a lot of events coming up soon. So, I plan on recording those. So, I hope you stay tuned and, you know, enjoy that as well. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. God bless everybody out there. And, of course, like always, God bless America. Adios.